As bilateral exercise Forest of Light begins, these Marines are making sure that their mission is clear and their equipment is up to standard, which is why today they are doing a maintenance run for their transportation route. To see how well our tracks are maintaining, just to keep, see how the upkeep is, see if I uh, get the engine going, get the fluids running through the engine. Uh, we use it mainly for uh, practice training purposes, to make sure if like, we do break something, we have time to fix them before the actual build-off happens. You might have noticed by now that these vehicles look like boats with wheels. They're called amphibious assault vehicles, and they can, in fact, float. Now, why are amphibious vehicles transporting troops when any number of other available vehicles could do the exact same thing? Being a versatile platform, it allows us to, to take, take troops on the deck. It's, it's an armor asset, so it's like a tank, but at the same time, it allows us to transport troops. Weighing 26 tons, this amphibious assault vehicle can still travel at 45 miles an hour on land and 12 knots at sea. Well, I've inhaled a few exhaust fumes today and there's definitely grit in my teeth, but I can say this for sure. The amphibious assault vehicle will be a great asset for just about any country bordering a large body of water. Senior Airman Sarah Bryce, Hidget Eye Maneuver Area, Japan.